Welcome to Wonder Tools. I'm excited to share with you today a new productivity assistant that I'm really benefiting from called Blocks, B-L-O-K-S. What it does is basically streamline my day. It makes it easier to keep track of meetings, prepare for meetings, take notes during meetings, and then follow up on meetings. It has this amazing capability of running on autopilot, so you don't have to worry about it. You kind of set it and forget it. Once you download it and set it up, you can set it to autopilot, basically meaning that whenever you join an online meeting, Blocks will automatically record that meeting, transcribe it, and summarize it for you. It doesn't record the audio and video, it just transcribes the text, gives you the transcript and a summary of the key points that were discussed in that meeting. And you don't have to worry about turning it on or turning it off. You can do so manually if you want to, but it's nice to be able to just set it and forget it. In the morning, you also get briefs uh, about the people you're going to meet with during your day. So you can connect it to your calendar so that it sees who you're meeting with and it finds information that's public on LinkedIn and gives you a little bit of prep for the meetings that you have coming up. And the meeting prep is basically a chance to look at the person's background, what uh, organizations have they worked for, what is their focus, and uh, what might you want to talk to them about. During the meeting, the notes are taken automatically for you. You can add your own notes. And then afterwards, you can get an automatic transcript um, and a summary, and you can copy and paste that, share it with someone, uh, or query the um, query the transcript and essentially ask you know, for a reminder about something you discussed or for highlights. And Blocks will basically find patterns across your meetings. It'll find um, uh, connections between multiple things you've talked about with the same person. Makes it really easy to query your own notes just as you would query ChatGPT. The design is pretty simple, minimalistic. Black background with little summary bullet points. So it's easy to follow, easy to sum, you know, get a quick look at something. Um, it has a lot of great features. Um, you can use it in person, so you can actually record an in-person meeting because it's not actually joining the meeting as a bot, as many other meeting summarization tools do. Instead, it's sitting on your laptop. So you can use it to record a conference session, for example, as I did. And you ask permission for people in your meetings, of course, make sure they're okay uh, getting an automatic transcription. But it works really well for in-person meetings, summarizing. It even works for dictation if you want to summarize your own ideas. It's private so that it doesn't store any of your audio or video, and it um, gives you control over how the data is used. And you can use these AI queries so you can do more with the notes and summaries after the meetings. It's not perfect. There are some caveats. Uh, the AI sometimes will overemphasize a small detail that you talk about, like something about the weather, or it may misinterpret who's being interviewed if you're interviewing someone. Um, it doesn't save you the multimedia audio video. If you want to share that with people, you have to use some, a different tool. It's also got limited customization in terms of how the summaries are set up, how the design is look, looks, um, the import and export for notes is limited, and there are some other um, features that are still kind of in development. There's some great alternatives out there. Supernormal is a really nice one for great summaries that you can customize. Fathom is a really good one if you want custom time code links. So if you want to link to a particular section of the video recording and share it with someone, Fathom is really great for that. And you can annotate the meeting as it goes. 4149 is another fun one I'm playing with uh, that's great for being able to query your summary of your meeting in Google Docs and ask questions and pull out great um, tidbits from meetings or useful parts of them that you can share with other people. There are many others, uh, Otter and Fireflies, many others that are also really, really good. So in summary, Blocks is a really useful app. It can be used for summarizing meetings, preparing for meetings, querying your own notes about meetings. And it's a really simple, helpful productivity tool to make you um, more efficient during your day.